Second Kings chapter 4 verse 8 to 16 Wafalme wa pili mlango wa 4 Mstari ni kuanzia 8 hadi 16 Praise the name of the Lord Amen Tumefika pale Are we there Second Kings chapter 4 verse 8 to 16 Itasoma mimi Mungu alinenena Mungu alinipa neema ya kizungu na hiyo hicho ndicho nitachapa praise the name of the lord Amen. one day elisha went to shunem shunem and a well to do woman was there who asked him to stay for a meal and a line who asked him to stay for a meal so whenever he came by he stopped there to eat she said to her husband, I know that this man who often comes our way is a holy man of God. Let us make a small room on the roof and put in it a bed and a table, a chair and a lamp for him. Then he can stay there whenever he comes to us. Then one day when Elijah came, he went up to his room and lay down. He said to his servant Gehazi, call the Shunammite. So he called her and she stood before him. Elisha said to him, tell her, you have gone all this trouble for us. Now what can be done for you? Can we speak on your behalf to the king or the commander of the army? She replied, I have a home among my own people. What can be done for her? Elisha asked. Gehazi said, well, she has no son and her husband is old. Then Elisha said, call her. So she was called, and she stood in the doorway. And Elisha said, about this time next year, you will hold a son in your arms. Praise the name of the Lord. Baba Katika Jina La Yesu, I just want to thank you so much and glorify your name because you are good. Indeed, this day we have seen your glory, we have seen your wonder, we have seen your love. And even as we fellowship together as your flock, oh God, I just ask that you use me as your vessel, oh Jehovah. That you put words in my mouth, oh King of Glory, and that the meditations of my heart may be acceptable before you. As I bring forth this word, how I ask that your people may have a heart that is open and receptive of this word for the glory and honor of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 
kumtumikia Mungu na servants inaitwa in kwa Kiswahili watumishi wake praise the name of the lord Amen. serving god and his servants praise the name of the lord bibi inatuambia kwamba huyu mama hakukuwa na mtoto praise the name of the lord Amen. hakukuwa na mtoto lakini she was well to do the bible says she was well to do kiona hiyo verse verse 8 inasema a well to do woman well to do woman inamaanisha ya kwamba alikuwa uwezo hakukuwa mtu maskini hakukuwa mtu wa kuombaomba alikuwa anazo praise the name of the lord Amen. lakini jambo moja tu ambalo hakuwa nalo ni kwamba hakukuwa na mtoto and when as we have read you will find that Gehazi told the servant of God Elisha that she, that her husband is old hiyo inamaanisha ya kwamba chances ya hawa kupata mtoto yalikuwa zero kwa sababu gani mzee alikuwa mzee yani amezeeka praise the name of the lord kwa hivyo katika hii mali yote ambayo wako nayo the big question is where who nani angerithi mali hii yote as the bible says she was well to do na hata ukisoma pale mbele Elisha anapomuuliza tukufanyie nini can we speak to the king can we speak to the commander of the army yani kwamba mtumishi wa Mungu alikuwa na uwezo wa kufikia president alikuwa na uwezo wa kufikia the army commander and who knows labda angeongea na president wangesema yeye asinipe ushuru wangesema labda jamaa yake relatives waandikwe kwazi you know whatever happens when you go to meet the president sio yeah. ni kama ushida zako zote zinafanya nini yeah. zinaisha and when you go to meet the army commander amrijeshi mkuu wa hii Kenya when you go to meet him maybe atasema watoto wako wote wataandikwa jela kwa hivyo watoto wako na jamaa yako hakuna maneno ya kutama tena in other words when you go to meet the power that is there it is like your problems are finished but kini biblia anatuambia kwamba she said no mimi niko na nyumba katika watu wangu in other words hakuhitaji msaada wa president hakuhitaji msaada wa army commander praise the name of the lord Amen. this is a woman who was well to do lakini katika hiyo hali yote mali ambayo alikuwa nayo akaona wacha atumikie mungu kwa kutunza watumishi wake na mtumishi wake katika hili neno ni Elisha praise the name of the lord Amen. and so it is in our lives ya kwamba pia na sisi tunaweza kuwa tunapitia changamoto changamoto ya huyu mama ni kwamba hakukuwa na mtoto na chances zake za kuweza kupata mtoto zilikuwa almost zero because the bible says her husband was old which means yeye labda hangeweza kuzalisha Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na sasa sisi katika maisha yetu, what are we going through? Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Ni nini ambacho tunapitia? Yaani kuna kale ka kitu ambacho kanakufunga unaona ningekuwa na hii, ningekuwa na hii. Maybe hauna kazi, maybe hauna biashara yendi vizuri, maybe wa, ni mtoto, maybe ni ndoa, maybe ni, ni familia iwe na amani, maybe ni kuwe na promotion kule kazini whatever it is that you are going through i want us to learn today ya kwamba kama vile huyu mama aliweka shida yake kando praise the name of the lord Amen. the bible doesn't tell us ya kwamba aliambia mtumishi ya kwamba ninataka mtoto hiyo inamaanisha ya kwamba alikuwa amekubali hali yake alikuwa amekubali na akasema kwangu kutokuwa na mtoto haimaanishi ya kwamba i will not serve the lord praise the name of the lord mimi kutokuwa na mtoto haimaanishi ya kwamba sitamtukuza huyu Mungu lakini nitamtukuza Mungu huyu kwa kuhudumia mtumishi wake na biblia imetuambia kwamba in the first place kabla hawajajuana kabisa na huyu mtumishi alikuwa anamwekea nini chakula and then the bible goes further to say one day she told the husband so wacha tumtengenezee room hapa juu alafu tumweke kitanda na kiti na meza pamoja na taa ili every time he comes awe anaenda tu kule juu bwana yesu asifiwe so that is means ya kwamba she took a step of faith apart from serving the servant of god na chakula every time anakuja sasa akachukua a level of faith akaipandisha na kusema a a hii chakula ambayo ninampatia kila wakati anapokuja haitoshi sasa wacha tumpatie chumba chake na biblia inasema ya kwamba 
Anytime Elijah alikuwa anakuja katika mji huo, alikuwa anajua ya kwamba ana mahali pa kuenda kupumzika. Na ni in that shuna maituma. Praise the name of the Lord. Kwa sababu alikuwa ametengewa chumba chake. And I want to believe, hata katika nyumba zetu, unapo tenga room flani, whether maybe it is a sitting room. Iyo ndio huwa unaitengeneza vizuri sana. Iyo ndio huwa unayekea vitamba. Kwa sababu ni maali gani? It is where you receive visitors praise the name of the lord and so i want to imagine your comment this lady alitengeneza hii chumba na kuweka kitanda kizuri kabisa because we are told she was not poor she was a well to do woman bwana yesu asifiwe na yale matendo ambayo alifanya yakaja yakauguza mtumishi wa Mungu kiasi kwamba mtumishi wa Mungu akasema tufanyie nini huyu mama kila mara tunapokuja katika mji huu anatushughulikia chakula kuosha labda mavazi maji ya kuoga mahali pa kulala yet we have never done anything for this woman jambo hilo likamguza mtumishi wa Mungu likamsumbua sana akaona how can we repay this woman na biblia inatuambia kwamba akamuita. Na ndio maana anasema ya kwamba je, ni kuzungumzia kwa president, ni kuzungumzia kwa amri jeshi mkuu. But the lady said no. Mimi mwenyewe nina nyumba katika watu wangu. Yaani inamaanisha ya kwamba kile ambacho mali ambayo Mungu amenibariki imenitosha. Sasa president tunamsumbua ya nini? Tunasumbua mfalme wa nini? I have enough. And the Bible says she walked away. Huyo ni mama ambaye alikuwa content. Ingekuwa ni wewe umewekwa katika hiyo nafasi. Ungesema nini? Hallelujah. Amen. Ungesema nini misizamo? Sinaona unacheka. Ungesema nini? Eh? Hauna job, si ndio? Unataka kazi, si ndio? Mwingine angesema nini? Shoshu wewe ungesema nini? Ungewekwa kwa hiyo nafasi mtumishi wa Mungu amesema naweza nikazungumza kwa niaba yako kwa rais wa hii inchi. Ungemwambia aseme nini? Eh, what would you have said mercy? Umetama sawa sawa hii kemsa imeni sina kazi nataka kazi. Eh, what would you have said if you are a student? Eh, magoha endelee tu kusongesha siku ya kufungua tozaa kuka nyumbani sio? Eh? Eh? Pray the name of the Lord. You know what you would have told the servant of God, si ndio? Yes. Nimechoka kutembea nataka gari ile Prado latest. Eh manu wewe ungesema ni nipi kipiki hapana? Sasa ninataka gari. Whatever it is you would have told the servant of God, I want to believe ya kwamba ingetendeka. Yes. Ingetendeka because he had the power. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He had the power ambaye anakuambia niambie nini mfalme ama commander of the army. It means ako na uwezo wa kuwafikia. Wewe sasa shida zako zingekuwa zimeisha. Lakini I praise the name of the Lord kwa sababu huyu mama hakuona hayo. Yeye hakuona hayo. Akasema yeye zile ambazo anataka anazo katika jamii yake she has all that she needs. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Na kwa hivyo Jambo hilo bado likamguza mtumishi wa Mungu. Na mama alipoondoka akaitisha huyu mjakazi wake Gehazi na kumuuliza je, huyu mama tunaweza kumfanyia nini? And the Lord opened the eyes of the servant of Elijah na akamwambia kwamba she doesn't have a son, hana mtoto. Na vile nimeona huyo mume wake ni mzee. Kumaanisha ya kwamba hawezi to perform praise the name of the lord Amen. and that is what the lord the servant of god akashikilia na akasema basi muite and the lady was called back again na akaambiwa ya kwamba mnamo wakati kama huu next year you will be holding a son praise the name of the lord Amen. the servant of god said a son yani alikuwa specific with the blessing that he was bestowing on this lady not just a child because a child could be a son or a daughter but the servant of god said a son bwana yesu asifiwe na kweli kabisa ukiendelea kusoma huo mwaka mama huyu akalea mtoto praise the name of the lord Amen. so what is mada yangu ni nini what i'm trying to say is that it doesn't matter It doesn't matter what we are going through. It doesn't matter whatever little that you have, you still can serve God. You still can serve. You still can serve the servants of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Unapo tengeneza ama unapo 
unapatia zawadi ama unapo hata ombea mtumishi wa Mungu iwapo ombi lako linaguza moyo wa Mungu lazima atakuja kushuka na atashughulikia shida yako Bwana Yesu asifiwe e how can we do that labda unajiuliza sasa mimi si kama ule mama mshumeni mimi i'm not that sure my woman with all these blessings how can i and the servants of god these days wengine ni kondo wamejifunga nini manyoya ya fisi hatujui kama ni servant of god but the bible says if you do something in truth and in spirit even the spirit of god will reveal to you that this one is the right person to attend to praise the name of the lord amen. hallelujah amen. hallelujah amen. what is it you have the lord asked moses what do you have in your hand amsa akasema ninayo fimbo and today i ask us today what do we have kile ambacho uko nacho ni nini kile ambacho uko nacho ambacho unaona ni kidogo hauwezi kumtumikia Mungu ni nini hicho ambacho uko nacho unaona hiki hakuwezi with god god doesn't need what we what he has given us the bible says he is the creator of the universe and kila kitu kilicho ndani ya ulimwengu pamoja na sisi wanadamu huyo ni Mungu ambaye ni maskini kweli hii maskini ni Mungu ambaye ameumba vitu vyote he is not a poor god so whatever it is that you feel mimi sina cha kutosha ili kumtumikia you are just lying to yourself praise the name of the lord Amen. be like this shuna my woman licha ya kwamba hakukuwa na mtoto haikumtatiza wengi wetu tukiwa na shida hata kidogo tu oh, rent imefungwa oh siju chakula hatuna we will show the world that we are in trouble praise the name of the lord ushaona mtoto kama hajakula mtoto hajui kuficha sio ataonyesha kwamba hajakula ama kama ni kulia kama ni makamasi imemwagika yani utajua huyu mtoto ana tatizo fulani bwana yesu asifiwe and so sometimes that as sisi tuna behave kama hao watoto kwamba tuko na shida kwa hivyo tutatangaza kila mahali and let me tell you sometimes tunapotangaza shida zetu ndio tunatukuza shetani sasa ndio anaamua kushika nat sawa sawa bila inasema take it all to the lord in prayer ambia Mungu wako hapana kutangazia kila mtu shida yako imagine this lady hata hakuambia mtumishi wa Mungu ya kwamba sina mtoto hata hakumwambia ya kwamba mtumishi wa Mungu amemuita angemwambia mtumishi wa Mungu Elisha mimi sina mtoto she didn't even say i want to believe she took it to the lord in prayer na ndio maana Mungu the spirit of god came to jehaz na akamfungua akamwambia hana mtoto praise the name of the lord Amen. wakati mwingine we don't have to tell our friend we don't have to tell our neighbor si lazima tuambie jirani na, na ndugu ya kwamba tunapitia shida hii wakati mwingine ambia tu mungu praise the name of the lord muambie mungu yeye mwenyewe atakushughulikia yeye mwenyewe atasababisha gehazi aje aseme huyu amos ni hii na hii na hii na kweli itakuwa ni hiyo Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. If only we can serve this God truthfully. Praise the name of the Lord. Why is it serve Mungu by praying washing this church? You are serving the Lord by cleaning the church. You are serving the you are serving God. Unapokuja praise and worship interceding for the church, interceding for the men of God and the women of God, interceding for the fellow and you know katika hiyo hali There are times when ukiomba namna hivyo utapata kwamba majibu hawa ambao umeombea kama we ni intercessors unapata kanisa inainuka na wewe bado uko hapo Ushai feel namna hivyo yani tumeomba lakini majibu yanakujia kwa wengine na wewe bado haujajibiwa so you feel hey, na mimi kwa nini naomba lakini majibu mimi sipati I want to remind you today like the Shunammite woman continue praying and serving this God in whatever capacity it is kama uliambiwa wewe ni asha continue doing that ashery if you were told wewe ni mwalimu wa Sunday school endelea kufundisha watoto kama wewe ni praise and worship endelea kuimba hata ukipatikana mko wawili hapa you are enough the third one is the holy spirit amen na muendelea kuchapa injili serving God in whatever capacity that you have. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nakumbuka wakati mmoja bishop akitwambia kwamba kuna mzee kule Kawangwani kazi iliisha 
na hakukuwa na uwezo kabisa but it never stopped him from coming to church na kila mara wakisema kwamba ni wakati wa kutoa sadaka na fungu la 10 na shukrani huyo mzee alikuwa hakosi kufika pale mbele and bishop kept wondering huyo mzee kama anapitia shida kama hizi na sadaka anatawaje lakini ikawa hiyo ni siri yake na Mungu until the day yule mzee alibarikiwa until the day huyo mzee alibarikiwa ndio akafungua hiyo siri ya kwamba alikuwa anaingiza mkono empty pale ndani Hallelujah. Amen. You don't have to tell everyone your problems. You don't have to stay at home. Na mzee alikuwa anatembea. Akifika pale karibu na kanisa anachukua kitambaa kutoka kwa mfuko wa koti wake anapanguza viatu zina shine kweli kweli na anaingia kwa kanisa. Na ataimba na kuabudu na kufanya kila kitu. Sadaka ataenda. I'm sure in his heart he would say God you know me. But he took his time. Alichukua muda wake akaona hata kama sina chochote. Mtu ambaye anakosa mpaka sadaka, kweli huyo ni mtu ambaye ameishiwa kabisa. Lakini haikumvunja ati kwamba asije kanisani. Alikuwa anakuja kanisani, alikuwa anahudumu, alikuwa anafanya kile ambacho ameambiwa afanye. Na sadaka anaingiza mkono. Na Mungu alipomfungua mzee huyu leo ana gari praise the name of the lord mzee huyu leo anaendesha si tena maneno ya kupanguza vumbi kwa sababu ya kutembea mzee leo ana sadaka mzee leo anezaamua hapa mbele hapakai smart na angusha chini ninapaka rangi upya praise the name of the lord when the lord blesses you because of standing and serving him you can never never go wrong bwana yesu asifiwe na kwa hivyo huyu mama Zawadi ambayo alipata kwa sababu ya, ku, ya, ya, ya kuwatunza watumishi wa Mungu Elisha na mtumishi wake Gehazi ni mtoto. Today I want to ask us, what is it that you have done for the Lord that you can stand up and say ama wenzako wasimame wale waombezi waseme Mungu, huyu ndugu ama huyu dada? Shida yake ni hii. Yaani kwamba mtumishi wa Mungu aguzwe asumbuliwe kabisa mpaka aseme tunaweza tukafanyia nini huyu dada tunaweza tukafanyia nini huyu ndugu have you done something ambayo inaguza Mungu inaguza mtumishi wa Mungu kiasi kwamba aseme tufanye nini kwa ajili ya huyu kijana tufanye nini kwa ajili ya huyu mama tufanyeje huyu mzee ama huyu kijana kwa sababu ya kazi ambayo anafanya katika ikanisa kwa kazi ambayo anafanya katika the kingdom of God. What is it that you have done? Praise the name of the Lord. It reminds me in the book of Esther chapter 6. Wakati Haman alikuwa amepanga ya kwamba anaenda kujenga kujenga something ile mnaijua ili ya kwenda kuhang nani Mordecai because he was so hard alikuwa amechukia Mordecai sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. But that very night he was kwa sababu tayari ilikuwa imejenga that gallo had already been constructed na the next day anapoenda in the palace sasa state house kukutana na na the king angemwambia king ninataka unipatie Mordecai aende anyongwe kwa sababu amekataa kuniabudu Do you remember that story of Haman yes. kwamba watu wote wakimuona wanamuinamia except Mordecai na hiyo kitu kilimchukiza sana Haman. Na in that very morning alikuwa amepanga ya kwamba anaenda kuambia mfalme ya kwamba huyu amekataa kunipa heshima ambayo inastahili. Haniina mi. Kwa hivyo nipe ruhusa nikamnyonge. Na mahali pa kunyongwa palikuwa tayari pametengenezwa. But who is like God? Who is like God? Asubuhi haikufika. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. In the morning did not reach Mungu alisababisha mfalme yule ambaye angepeana the order for Mordecai to be hung akasababisha huyo mfalme asipate usingizi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yeah. Na akasumbuliwa kiasi kwamba akatoka kitandani akaenda ofisini mwake. And the Bible says he could not sleep. He was disturbed. Na he ordered the servants in the palace muniletee vitabu zile zinaonyesha the chronicles, the records of the past things katika palaces at a state house they normally record things hiyo ni kazi ya state house controller to record things that have happened ili kwamba they will be referred to 
And so katika hiyo hali ambayo huyu mfalme hakupata usingizi, akaitisha hizo vitabu na wakazisoma wakisoma. Kufika kwa Mordecai ikasema ikasomeka ikasemeka kwamba alikushababisha wale ambao askari wawili ambao walikuwa wamepanga ku assassinate the king yeye ndio alifichua hiyo hiyo mpango bwana yesu asifiwe yeah. and the king asked what was done for mordecai and the people in the palace said hakuna kitu kilifanyika bwana asifiwe yeah. hiyo usiku mordecai alikuwa wapi hakukua pale alikuwa kwake analala na huko Aman hakukua pale kwa pale alikuwa wapi kwa yake amesubiri asubuhi aje aambie mfalme nipe Mordecai But God is faithful namna ya vile alisababisha mfalme hakuwa na usingizi hivyo hivyo pia Haman akakosa usingizi akaona wacha niamuke niende tu kwa mfalme sikoje asubuhi na kufika pale sasa mfalme ameshasomewa na anauliza who is in the palace official mgani kama hapa state house tungesema which cabinet minister is around wangesema matiangi is around magoha is around fulani akara in that case wakasema hama tumemuona anaingia mlete 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 na akasomea hama mtu ambaye amefanya hivi na hivi na hivi mtu ambaye amependezwa na mfalme matendo yake yamependezwa na mfalme je anaweza akafanywa nini na ujue shetani ni muongo because Haman thought ni yeye anasemwa. Kwa hivyo akajiwekea mazuri yote. Avalishwe mpaka ile royal court ya the royal robe inavaliwa na mfalme. Kama ni president wangesema nipatie ile suti yenye president Uhuru Kenyatta alivaa last week, nipatie hiyo gari ambayo aliendesha na akataja kila kitu. And the Bible says the king said do it for Haman. I mean for Mordecai. Praise the name of the Lord. Mordecai alikuwa wapi? Kwake analala. Mungu alisababisha ya kwamba yeye jibu lake liweze kujibiwa. Praise the name of the Lord. Just like the Shunammite woman. She could not speak for herself and I want to believe alikuwa amekubali hali yake kwamba sina mtoto lakini hainisimamishi mimi kuabudu Mungu. Mordecai had taken it to the Lord and he had said I will not bow before this man called Haman. Mimi I serve the God that is living. Praise the name of the Lord. Tunapoabudu huyu Mungu kwa roho na kweli anasababisha njia zetu zikafunguke. Msaada wetu unaletwa na watu hata ambao hukutarajia. Yule ambaye anakupiga vita, yule ambaye ni adui ndio huyo Mungu anasababisha alete ukombozi kwake. Haman was the greatest enemy of Mordecai na Mungu alimtumia. Tena Biblia ukisoma inasema ya kwamba mfalme akaamuru Haman achukue ile gari na aende na kama ni vuvuzela ama loudspeaker akitangaza huyu ndiye ambaye mfalme ameridhika naye. Huyu ndiye can you imagine your enemy speaking for you among the people? Aren't we blessed? Yes. Aren't we blessed? Yeah. Mwana Biblia ikasema muombe hata adui wako maana haujui huyo labda ndiye Mungu atatumia na kama hatatumia muombe aendelee kuishi ili aone unapobarikiwa haleluya amen haleluya amen what do we have in our hands that we can serve the lord useme sijasoma useme sina kazi biashara haifanyi vizuri leo nimefungua ni watu wawili tu ndio wamefungua mshara wangu ni mdogo hautoshi that is not an excuse to the lord praise the name of the lord what is it that you have if you think ya kwamba ile kitu ambacho uko nayo ni kidogo sana hakistahili kwa mungu ukae ukikumbuka yule mzee wa kaongwari praise the name of the lord kumbuka yule mzee ambaye hakuwa na chochote lakini alikuwa anamtumikia Mungu. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. If you are a student, you can also serve the Lord by giving him a little bit of your time. Time table inasema hivi na hivi but then you say I'm going to be dedicating 10 times just I mean 10 minutes just to read the Bible and to fellowship with God. That is enough for the Lord. If you are working, utasema ya kwamba hizi siku mawiki huwa ninauza 100, pengine ni vifungo 100. I will take 10 ten bunches 
na hizi zitakuwa za Mungu i will be serving the lord praise the name of the lord ama mnadhani mkileta sukuma wiki hapa hivi Mungu anakata si nyumbani tulikuwa tunapeleka mayai kulikuwa mnapeleka nini mahindi maharagwe because our mothers did not have shilingi sio lakini unapewa mayai unapewa mahindi ili ili wai kataliwa we have money yani tumeweka pesa mbele mpaka tumesahau ya kwamba hata unaweza ukachukua nguo yako iliyo bado nzuri ukaiosha ukaipasa na ukaileta ni sadaka sababu gani god doesn't eat these things but he says that whatever we give it is for his kingdom praise the name of the lord ili kwamba yule ndugu ambaye and where is that young man kevo mshai muone nani amwahi fikiria tu atakia tu kupatia huyo mtoto ho anachezanga hapa hivi si ndio wenzake wanavaa pia tu za white wameambiana si ndio have you ever seen his white shoe that is a blessing hiyo ni sadaka unaweza kusema ya kwamba huyu mtoto ninamvalisha kiatu praise the name of the lord There are so many ways that we can serve the Lord. Si tu kwamba ati sina pesa, ati ndio sasa uwezi kuabudu huyu Mungu. Praise the name of the Lord. Mara nyingi huwa ninawaambia kata kipande ya sabuni kama uko nayo, kuja weka hapa ndani. Hii basket iliundwa ya nini? Serve the Lord with that. Praise the name of the Lord. Kwa nini kanisa inaoshwa na nini? Sinawekwa sabuni. Sinawekwa sabuni. There are so many ways we can praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na kama this shuna maituma aliona ya kwamba yeye atatenga nyumba yake kando ili mtumishi wa Mungu anapokuja anakuwa anapumzikia pale. Na Mungu akasikia maombi yake. Sio ni sadaka. Sio ilikuwa an offer that she made. What can we give to the Lord? We are never limited by what we can give to this God. We are never limited. Yaani Mungu ametubariki kiasi ya kwamba unaposema sina sadaka basi uko na kichaa. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa sababu ulipotoka kwa nyumba ulikunywa hata kama ni turungi, si ndio? Kwa nini usigawe hiyo sukari ukuje ulete? Hata kama ni kikombe. Na ukuje uweke ndani ya katasi na utumbukize lazima iwe kilo, lazima iwe kilo mbili. It does not have to be Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We are not limited by what we can give to this God. Na kama hiyo yote imekosekana kabisa, basi kuja ufanye kazi hapo. Na uone kama Mungu hatasikia maombi yako. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible doesn't tell us what Mordecai gave. Haisemi kama alikuwa anapeleka sadaka kiasi gani ama alikuwa haisemekani lakini he devoted his life and his worship by standing by the word of god praise the name of the lord hatuambiwi alikuwa anapeleka sadaka ama alikuwa na offer ama alikuwa anafagia lakini yeye alijitolea kuabudu mungu kwa roho na kweli he stood firm and he said sitaona uovu ukifanyika na ninyamaze That is why he refused I will not bow before this Haman. Praise the name of the Lord. Hiyo peke yake tendo hilo peke yake ilikuwa sadaka kwa Mungu. Praise the name of the Lord. So what can we offer to this God? Ili kwamba watumishi wa Mungu waseme tunaweza tukafanyia nini huyo mdada? Tunaweza tukafanyia nini huyo mtoto? Yaani mtumishi wa Mungu ama watumishi wa Mungu waguzwe mpaka waseme a a huyo mtoto imetosha ama huyu mama imetosha je tunaweza tukamfanyia nini and when the servants of god reach that level jua wewe shida zako zimeisha praise the name of the lord hakuna vile watumishi wa mungu watafika pale kama si roho kuwashukia it is god that will speak praise the name of the lord may we learn to put god first kura zimefanyika tumekuwa wakati wa election Watunalia hakuna biashara watu hawanunui wengine bado hawaendi kazi wenye waliendea ushago wajarudi wamengoja watangaze president wamengoja so we are all waiting na kabla ya kula kulikuwa na rasha kulikuwa na korea mafuta imepanda unga imepanda oh sijui nini wenye tulikuwa kwa makampeni wenye tulikuwa wapi in all these things Mungu alikuwa wapi did we put god anywhere kwa sababu Biblia inasema hata kama hii unga itapanda ifike 
Who is the owner of silver and gold? God. It is God. It is God. Wacha ifika ata miatano. If you are serving this God. Atasababisha utapata unga. Atasababisha utapata petroli na kila kitu. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. When we imagine the children of Israel in the desert. How many were they? Wasome wa Biblia. Wana wa Israeli waliotoka Misri walikuwa kama wangapi? Amen. Wengi sana. The Bible talks of men only, the men who left Egypt only. Yes, Joy, you're a student. When you find your assignment, sit down there. But I can tell you walikuwa something in millions. Ukiweka na watoto because Biblia iliyesabu waze peke yao. The men who left. Na men walikuwa na mama zao, walikuwa na mashosho zao, walikuwa na wake zao, walikuwa na watoto. Wengine walikuwa na wajakazi. Mwende mfanya your assignment. It is in the middle. Now if God was able to feed these people in the desert. Wewe unadhani unga ikifika shilingi miambili utashipu. How? Impossible. Unless we are serving a God who is not a God. But our God is able. Our God is capable of all things. Akasema nothing is impossible with him. Kwa hivyo, hatuwezi tukashindo kwa budu we mungu. Licha iwe kuwe na nini, it doesn't give us an excuse not to worship this God. What do you have in your hand? What do you have with you? that you can serve the Lord. Ni nini uko nacho? Musa akaulizo, una nini? Akasema nina hii fimbo. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And in the New Testament, the Lord Jesus asked, what do we have? And they said, two fish and how many loaves of bread? And they were able to feed how many people? 5,000 and their men. Hawajesabu? Wanawake. Na hizo mikate ata zikabaki nini? Zikabaki. Ngapi? 12. Filled. Praise the name of the Lord. God is able. What is it that you have that you can serve the Lord with? Wana Yesu sivyo. Nini ukonacho mbacho unaweza kutumia kumtuko za huyo mungu? Ili watumishi wa mungu, ili mungu aguzwe na aseme lazima nishukulike huyo. Praise the name of the Lord. May we never forget that we have everything in our power and in our possession to serve this God. Na tunapo mtumikia huyu mungu pamoja na kushukulikia watumishi wake baraka zetu zinafunguliwa. Praise the name of the Lord. Tusimame. I want us to sing this song as we sing and then we move into the next session. Twasema asante, twasema asante, twasema asante, ewe mungu wa twasema asante, twasema
katika kitu cha kuambia Mungu asante nacho. Ni wakati wako mzuri wa kuambia Mungu asante kwa uhai, asante kwa uzima, asante kukuwezesha kuona hii siku, asante kwa baraka ya jamii, asante kwa baraka ya kazi, asante kwa baraka ya afya. We have every reason to tell God thank you. And so can we go just before the Lord for a minute? Kumbuka tu yale ambayo Mungu amekufanyia, kumbuka tu yale Mungu amekuepusha nayo. Kumbuka tu yale Mungu ambayo amekuokoa na muambie Mungu asante. Baba we came we come before you. Mungu, na Mungu usiyeshindwa. Wewe ni Mungu jana leo na hata milele. Ni Mungu uishie milele. Ni Mungu uwezaye mambo yote. Ni Mungu asiyeshindwa. Mungu mtakatifu, Mungu mtukuka. Tunalimidi jina lako asubuhi ya leo. Tukikushukuru na kunyenyekea miguuni mwako na kusema asante baba kwa baraka ambazo umetupa. Asante kwa uzima ambao umetujalia baba. Asante kwa afya ambayo umetupa bure pasipo kulipia baba. Asante mwema kwa baraka hizi zote. Tunashukuru kwa wema wako na uaminifu wako baba. Hata neno lako ambalo baba umetuletea. Baba tunashukuru na kulipokea baba. Like the Shunammite woman oh Jehovah, may we learn to appreciate what you have given us. May we learn to use what you have blessed us with for your glory oh Jehovah, that we may touch your heart oh Jehovah, that we may touch the hearts of your servants oh Jehovah by blessing them O oh, King of Glory, that you in turn may also bless us, O oh, Jehovah. Tupe moyo wa shukrani kama huyu mama. Tupe moyo wa kweza kukuabudu kama huyu mama. Wakweza hata kutumikia wa shungaji wako, baba. Ili ukapate kutukuka. Tusaidie meyo zetu zilizo ngumu, baba. Meyo zetu zilizo kuwa na, 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 na ugumu, baba. Hatuoni baraka mazo umetupa. Hatuoni ushindi ambao umetupa. Tumeweka mienendo zetu tumbele tumeweka tamaa zetu mbele tumeweka our needs ahead they have even blinded us we cannot even see the blessings that you have given us jehovah tusamee baba tusamee mwenye nguvu tuwe na moyo wa shukrani tuwe na moyo wa kusema asante tuwe na moyo wa kusema baba asante maana kama si wewe haingewezekana hata sisi kukuwa mahala hapa baba ni mkono wako e baba kwa hivyo wacha utukufu wote ukawe wako heshima zote zikawe zako baba mamlaka zote ni zako maminifu uishie milele tukuka tukuka baba asante kwa maana we ni mema kwa nasi tunapoendelea na hii ibada roho wako aendelee kutuelekeza na kutufundisha namna ya kukuabudu kwa roho na kweli we dedicate this service to you oh jehovah may you accept it as our offering to you oh jehovah in jesus name we pray and believe amen. hallelujah amen 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 mungu wamesoma kitu Hallelujah. How many will from today say I have something I can serve the Lord with? How many will from today say nina kitu ambacho naweza nikaabudu Mungu nacho? Hallelujah. It is all for the glory of God. Praise and worship please come and lead us in a few numbers before we move into the second service.